Hi YouTube, it's Miss Black Pearls and I think today is the 21st, um, January the 21st. And as you can see, my hair is in an air dry mode. It's all spongy and drawn up. I thought it was time to go ahead and do a flat iron for you guys. Since I'm officially seven months post, I just would like to straighten my hair out and wear that for the remainder of the week. Okay guys, this is the flat iron that I'm gonna be using. It has no labels on it guys because uh, I guess the oils and stuff, I actually took that off. So I'm going to put a picture up. It's supposed to be a titanium platinum plate and it's supposed to be true to the temperature. And it actually has the dial temperatures from 250 all the way up to 460. And I think we all know that hair actually burns at 450. Because I've washed my hair and deep conditioned very well last night, and I, like I said, I deep conditioned with um, the organic root stimulator and Hello Hydration, just to get my moisture and a little protein in my hair. And my hair has is fully air dried right now, so that's what you guys are seeing. So I really want you guys to see if I can get into the camera. So it's just a regular drawn up hair that I normally have. So what I'm gonna do is take this down. I'm gonna say I'm not a professional. I'm doing my hair the way that I, as I go and as I experiment with my hair, I do what I feel like my hair likes. Look at that guys, I am past the freaking APL line. That, that is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> so what am I going to be using today? I'm going to be using Tresemme's Thermal Creations. It's a heat protection up to 450 degrees, so it protects your hair. And something that I've never seen, but I did before when I cut my hair in my video that I showed you guys the three plus inch cut. I actually flared ironed my hair that day with my African Shade Butter Mixture. I'm going to start by misting the hair because uh, the hair is really dry because of the air dry. I'm going to just spritz this to the section very well and I'm going to work it in. I will have to detangle my hair, okay? So with that in mind, I'm gonna take my den man and I'm going to go in and start my detangling process. I'm gonna be trying to use the chase method. And I do that with either my small tooth comb or my den man. I prefer my den man because I trust it to glide through my hair way better than this one. So now that the section has been detangled, I'm going to go ahead and section this off in a smaller piece. I'm gonna work with my hair in small segments, guys, because again, this is something that always scares me when I'm putting heat in my hair, I know. Miss Black Pearls, you're doing uh, videos. What, what do you mean you're scared? I'm human, just like anybody else. Again, I have to wonder how my hair is gonna react. I'm using this platinum titanium. Um, I have the heat set at 250. That's that's well above enough. I've already spritzed my hair with this, this section anyway, with my Tresemme's Thermal Creation. Now what I'm going to do is go into my African Shea Butter Mixture. I'm applying just a little bit to my fingers and I'm going to work this throughout the section. As a lot of you guys know, um, African Shea Butter is also a heat protectant. And I just did this one day just to see what would happen. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people do not like the oily feel on their hair. They want their hair to flow. I'm more concerned with getting my hair straight but not having that dried out, damaged feeling. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I just worked that African Shea Butter Mixture, and for those of you guys who don't know what it is, I try to list it below, but I did make a video on uh, me creating this very same mixture. So here's the deal. You can't freak out because you're seeing smoke. You're dealing with heat. 
you're dealing with heat, so understand you're gonna you're gonna have smoke. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna pass this maybe two to three times at my new growth. Once I pass this on the new growth, I'm going to then do the chase method all the way down with my den man. That's just the way I prefer to do it. My hair is really straight, guys. Wow. Check out where it lands. Way past the APL line. My God. I'm getting there, guys. For those of you, again, who don't like product in their hair, this may not be for you. I love the fact that I just passed that through my hair. My hair is soft. That's why I choose to do it this way. I just do enough, guys, where I'm covering the tips of my finger. I start from the ends. I work my way up. You, you cover the section enough where you feel at peace with it. You don't have to overdo it. I wouldn't suggest a, a lot of um, product, but enough where you know the section ha is being protected. But I'm loving it. Look at the shine in my hair, guys. Can you see that? If I can keep this for two weeks, it'll be fabulous. I cannot believe that I'm past the APL line. I love it. Again, we're gonna start by going in to the new growth as close as you can without burning yourself. I'm passing that way more times on the new growth, guys. And then I'm going to hold it there, slowly move downward, get my den man, and move in slow motion. If you hear anything crackling or sounds like burning, don't stress over it because you have product in your hair. That African shea butter also kind of lengthens my hair without even putting heat on it. You see how it lengthens my hair? It almost straightens my hair without putting any heat in there. I'm going to go and pass that through, maybe one, two, three, and then take my dead man and gradually as I move down, move slow through the hair. And I hate to see my hair thin like this. This is the main reason why I went tech slacks because I wanted my hair to appear thicker. So when I see my hair thin like this, it, it makes me think about those bone straight, relaxed days. Nothing wrong with being bone straight, ladies. I'm talking from a personal preference here. 
I just uh, would prefer my hair to be thicker, more natural looking, more fuller than thin. So this is the first section, guys, and I gotta say that freaking shines like crazy. But you can see how thin it is. Whoa, you can actually see the real length of my hair here. And it's way past that APL line. My purpose for flat ironing my hair this way is because my hair feels healthier. It feels uh, like it hasn't been damaged while uh, flat ironing it, plus the shine is a plus. And as time goes and I'm moisturizing and sealing on a daily basis, I could still deal with this and manage this a lot better. If you're looking for swing to the hair, this is not going to be your option. If you're looking just to manage your new growth and to perhaps wear your hair a little straighter and have a little bit more shine to it, this is a good option. I would rather have the stiffness, the shine, and uh, protection from the, the element of the heat than the swing and the bounce of it. So. who really don't know what the heck to do to my hair. Especially when it's this thin, I'm, I'm kind of like in that unfamiliar zone with my hair being this thin. Yeah, guys, this is my hair, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.